What's going on YouTube? So today we're gonna be talking about rec recognizing patterns. And I was listening listening to some Tony Robbins stuff a while back and uh, he talked about this concept that goes as such as like, in our lives, we have patterns that continue to repeat themselves. And it didn't really make a whole lot of sense at first. And then I started to see certain people in my own life repeating the same actions, affirming the same identity, whether that be good or bad. This is what I was seeing in other people. So from there, it started to make sense. And then I started to notice it in myself. Wait a minute. If I get anxious and I can't sleep at night and I'm super, you know, I have insomnia, I'll pop a bag of popcorn and just eat a bunch of carbs. And then I stay up till two, right? Oh, if I'm stressed in the morning, I'll have three cups of coffee. Oh, if I, if I feel happy, I'll go do this. If I... If this happens to me, I do this. Insert whatever example here. And it is very true. If you're not uh, increasing where you want to be in your life, all it is is that you're repeating the same patterns and you're affirming the same identities within yourself. So... A uh, crazy thing is these identities are very locked into your way of being and um, it can be scary to let go of these identities. Um, but we got we to gotta find a way to satisfy ourselves, give ourselves the same feeling as a particular addiction, if you will that's 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 really grounding us to our identity if that makes sense um so maybe if you derive satisfaction from uh just chilling on the couch not doing a whole lot how can you get that same feeling of relaxation maybe you do some yoga you do some stretching hey it sucks in the moment Ah, but after you feel totally relaxed, instead of, yeah, instead of sitting down, eating a bunch of Cheetos, watching TV, you do yoga, and then you derive that same body relaxation feeling after. And um, the hardest part is just every single day, your body's going to want to go by what its routine is. You're going to watch TV. That's your routine. Your body's going to want to do that. That's where you have to step in and go, nope, we're gonna do yoga today. Even if it's just even if it's just 10 minutes, even if it's just five minutes to break the cycle, you've gotta have that what you'd call a pattern interrupt to actually break that cycle of your habit. Your habit. So it's really important that we recognize our identity, we recognize the patterns in our life, because otherwise if we don't. Um, and we think that our conscious mind is enough, it's not. You think to yourself, okay, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym one day. I'm going to go to the gym two days. I'm going to go to the gym three days. Um, you might even go for a month. You might even go for two months, three months. But if your identity is someone that I'm a lazy person. I don't like to do crap besides just sit on my butt and watch TV. Um, pretty soon, you're gonna stop going to the gym unless you actually change who you are and what you believe at a core. One thing I highly recommend is meditation. Get some classical music playing, cover your eyes so not as much light is getting in your eyes. And um, a lot of our mind and how we process things is visual. So if we 
get rid of that visual element, we're able to get much more into our subconscious mind. So buy yourself a little eye cover. I'm not sponsored by whoever the heck these guys are. Just buy yourself an eye cover. You can get one for eight bucks on Amazon. You know, throw on some headphones, do some meditation and start to affirm these new beliefs to yourself, whether you want to just say an affirmation like, hey, I am someone who is excited to be in the gym every day. I am someone who is excited and is happy that I have the privilege to get in the best shape of my life. Or maybe you just listen to some audio recordings. Maybe you just listen to some music. Maybe you just imagine yourself as this new person. Whatever it is, whatever works for you, try it out. Um, and this is something that is best to stick with too. The longer you do this, the more these meditations are going to become powerful and the better results you're going to get. One last bonus tip. If you really want to make the identity change, you got to have it to where you're spending quality time on these meditations. For example, you could probably even do this yourself. So you go to some computer software, you put some classical music, and then you even record yourself saying these affirmations over this classical music. I am someone who is excited to exercise and go to the gym. I am someone who is very successful financially. I am someone who is very successful in my relationships. And you just keep putting these affirmations on the track. You're going to put on your headphones. You're going to do the eye cover. You're going to start the meditation. And uh, the first five, 10 minutes, you're going to think like, okay, this is pointless. This is completely pointless. Because it's almost like your mind is scared to shift identities because your mind knows if you stay in this meditation and you surrender to the meditation, you are going to get a different result. So I do warn you in advance, the meditation is going to take two, three, five, even 10 minutes to where your brain actually gives you permission to relax. And then once you're in that relaxed state and you're continuing on with the meditation, that's when the subconscious work is getting done. So that's, that's it for the video. This isn't to say to just, um, Do this, man. Do this stuff. It's good. I was going to say something, but I thought of something better to say. So what I was going to say is that you don't want to use these meditations as a replacement for taking action. Again, for example, you want to get more in shape in the gym. You're not meditating instead of going to the gym. You're meditating so that your being can become more aligned with going to the gym, right? You look at a guy like, you know, I'll just use like bodybuilding for an example, Chris Bumstead. Why do I look like this? And Chris Bumstead looks the way he does. That's because his identity is I'm freaking huge. I go to the gym. I do roids, which I'm not even hating on that. That's just what he does. You know, I'm just getting freaking huge. Now I'm in good shape, but I'm never, I, I don't want to be that big, right? The same way that, uh, whatever, some guy who's some, some kid who's super out of shape, but he's at the library reading and he's getting his knowledge and he's going to be a doctor or something like that is the same way that I don't ever plan on being a doctor. That's not part of my identity. So it all depends on what you're doing what you want and um that's about it for the video i don't have my selfie stick today so my gosh darn hands are getting tired so we're gonna end the video right here hope you gain some value from it if you have any questions comments or uh things you want clarification on or even testimonies of your experience with regard to you know deep meditations and identity change and stuff like that feel free to comment it down below and until next time peace